This is Raman Talib, VP QHAC of MEVA. ENI Indonesia came and audited us in October 2017. There were four of them uh, representing ENI Indonesia, PGN, and a third party. It was an eight man this audit. The audit was very extensive, covering the areas of sales, contract management, engineering design, purchasing, manufacturing, assembly and test, QAQC, warehousing and logistics. There were no major issues raised and we were awarded the job. Our scope of soft life for this project comprises of top entry and side entry bulva. The main highlight of the product is the 36-inch Class 900 top entry bulva. The main challenges we face mainly due to its large size, high pressure class and the material form which is made from casting. We have to ensure that all the engineering deliverables that we produce such 3D modeling, machining drawings, material specification and procedures is fully understood by our vendors to avoid any mistake along the manufacturing process. Aside from that, our stress engineer has also analysed the design with the finite element analysis to ensure a quality product performance in each lifetime. Hi, I'm Afik, FEA engineer in Mirvav. With FEA, we were able to run few design iterations using ANSYS software to make improvement to each of the design. With each improvement, we were able to finalise a design and have a brace design around the body of the valve to stiffen up the components and ensure a safe working environment for our client. If you can see from here, the welding process has been completed for the valve and also the transition ring. So now, as you can see, we've moved inside the 36-inch Class 900 top entry body. Important features I want to show you today is some of the machining features within this body. There's a very important relationship that must be carried through the machining. Relationship of bonnet location, relationship of seat pocket, and relationship of the trunnion bearing location in the bottom of the body. This body, as a raw casting, starts out at 12.9 metric tons. As the machine item you see now, it's 8.8 .8 metric tons. So there's just over four tons of material removed during the machining process. I'm standing in front of the 36 inch class 900 ball. The material of construction is F60 uh, with 75 microns of ENP, electroless nickel plating. Important features here, surface finish of the spherical, obviously geometric size of the spherical is important, and also the relationship of the spherical to the trunnion bearing. This is where the trunnion bearing will fit, and once located into the body, there's a location for a bearing at the bottom, and a location where this will engage with the bearing in the bonnet. We are now at the testing area. The test will be in two stages. First stage is the valve plus transition piece, as you can see in front of me now, which will be tested maximum up to 223 bar. Second stage is the valve plus transition piece and also the part piece, which will be tested up to maximum 190 bar to the pipeline design pressure. The test will consist of shell test, seat test, top test, functional test with actuators and also low pressure seat test. <laughs>